Welcome to this round table on smart beta and factor investing. I presume that this, this idea of combining factors is to better diversify the portfolio. But, but how do you approach multi-factor investing? So before talking about how we combine, we should focus on what we expect as an individual payoff from different factors. They will not have the same cycle of performance over time. If you think about a value factor, for example, uh, it's more something that we can call a risk premium. Uh, the stocks are cheap, but they are cheap for good reasons. They can be highly leveraged. What is important in the multi-factor is to combine this type of behavior with some other factors which are more defensive, such as low vol or quality. So if you combine factors all together with different cycle, with different payoff, this is how you can build a well-diversified portfolio. I mean, the well-known factors such as size, value, momentum have been around for a long time and people are looking for new factors. There are probably only, only a, a small number of factors which are genuinely independent of each other. After Mr. Trump's election in the US last November, uh, some investors wanted to be exposed to the value factor, so this is more a tactical uh, perspective, more a tactical bet to be exposed quickly to one factor. But in the multi-factor space, so combining different factors, we believe this is more structural, more, uh, I would say, uh, a strategic allocation uh, that is there to deliver long-term performance. You've done quite a bit of research on this, haven't you, at CAS? We haven't come up with a definitive answer, but what we have found is if you try to combine products which are focused on purely one factor and purely another factor... Well, let's say take value and momentum. Value and momentum. So yeah. if you, you pick a portfolio of value stocks and portfolio of mm -hmm. momentum stocks and add those together, that's not as good as filtering your stocks on value and momentum at the same time. I mean, that's an interesting debate because we, we spend a lot of time speaking to asset managers who will argue it either way. So some will argue that actually having building blocks is, is creates better solutions, it creates easier attribution between factors, right. and it creates increased transparency because you can understand what's driving your returns at any point in time. But again, it's coming back to what you want to achieve. If you prefer going for a more return-based, this is where you would favor more concentrated portfolio focus on the intersection of some factors. For example, we are more in the uh, risk dynamic allocation yeah. so that we take into account the risk budget of each factor.